Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tarun IS. Today we are going to discuss a very hot topic which is recently in news because of many fire incidences in the uh, cities in India. So today we will discuss urban fires in India. Uh, what are urban fires? What are their causes? Why uh, the phenomenon of urban fires is quite compli complicated and uh, uh, what should be the policy measures which we can suggest to uh, deal with this particular menace? So, why we are studying this particular topic today? Because recently uh, what we have seen that there were two major fire incidences in different cities of India. So one was in Rajkot where uh, around 60 to 70 people lost their lives and other was uh, in a hospital in Delhi where around 7 to 10 uh, newborn babies uh, lost their lives because of the urban fire related incidences. Besides this, uh, in the past 2-3 weeks, uh, many cities from urban India have reported many fires. This is because of increasing temperature in the cities in India, which is uh, one of the major uh, implications of the uh, you know increasing global warming and the associated rise in temperature. Recently, according to some estimates, uh, the city like Delhi recorded around 52 degrees Celsius temperature. Uh, so this is this is very high. So these are the uh, causes which actually complicate the phenomenon of urban fires in India. We will specifically deal with the, how this global warming and climate change is actually going to make the incidences of urban fires in India worse. So before starting. Uh, there is an announcement here at Tarun IS we are launching free mentorship program if you have any queries any problems regarding your preparation for the civil services then you can connect with us uh, uh, this is a free uh, mentorship session you don't have to pay any registration fees no admission fees so if you have any queries regarding uh, how to prepare uh, be it the prelims or the mains examination then you can connect to us at Tarun IAS you just have to call at the office they will uh, they will guide you how to connect with us for the free mentorship guidance so this is our topic urban fires in India we will try to discuss it comprehensively so that not only the prelims but also if a question on this particular topic comes in the mains examination this uh, this particular topic actually is a part of your GS mains uh, paper one urbanization and related issues so because it is of uh, you know it is under the category of current affairs and UPSC uh, actually have uh, giving more attention to the topics which are actually in the current affairs so in this context this becomes very very important so our approach would be to discuss this topic comprehensively so that you don't have to go to any other resources as far as uh, the preparation of this particular topic is concerned so this would be our table of content uh, we will discuss the meaning the characteristics the common causes of urban fires in India then how urban, uh, urban fires in India are actually becoming more and more dangerous because of the global warming associated with the climate change. Then we will see what are the various provisions which are which actually uh, are regulating the urban fires in India. Then we will see what are the challenges related to urban fire management in India. Followed by this we will see uh, how we can improve the urban fire management and finally we will conclude this will be followed by uh, a question for your answer writing practice because answer writing is very very important for your mains examination we will also provide a model answer so you will also see the references used only the most authentic uh, references from the government sources from the editorials which come in newspapers like the hindu and indian and indian express so only such authentic resources have been used to prepare whatever content we will provide you so first of all introduction we have seen there are two major uh, incidences of fires in urban areas in India in the recent past. Besides this, because of the increasing temperature related to the global warming, the incidences of urban fires are actually on the rise. 
So, this is why we are discussing this particular topic. Now, first of all, what is an urban fire? So, basically fire related incidences which are because of the man made causes uh, which are which occur in urban areas be it major metropolitan cities or towns uh, in commercial buildings or in residential areas or industrial areas which are located within the premises of urban areas these fires are termed as urban fires. So, according to one estimate which is uh, prepared by the National Crime Records Bureau, around 7000 people lose their life every year because of the incidences related to urban fires. Now, what are the characteristics of urban fires? So, how urban fires are different from other types of fires like you know natural fires or forest fires? So, high population density uh, because these occur in urban areas and urban areas are characterized by very very high population density. So, uh, this is a very problematic fact because the chances of losing human lives are very high in case of urban fires uh, than in case of forest fires. Then complex infrastructure because um, in urban areas uh, you know there is no one type of infrastructure you have residential buildings, you have commercial buildings, then you have factories and industrial complexes handling hazardous materials. So, uh, in urban areas the authorities uh, especially the municipal authorities have to deal with various different types of fires uh, concentrated at the one place. Then you have economic impact because in urban areas it is not only you know very congested but also the, uh, uh, the property or other resources at stake are very high and because of you know very congested uh, location of the buildings the, uh, the resources which are going to be affected because of the urban fires their value is also very very high. Then environmental impacts because urban because uh, you know Urban fires, uh, urban areas uh, basically in India are dealing with the problem of uh, air pollution. So, uh, these incidences of urban fires actually increase this, uh, you know, already uh, ha happening phenomena uh, in urban areas. Not only the uh, buildings, but also very often the municipal waste, uh, uh, municipal waste uh, catches fire, which increases the you know air pollution in the urban areas and increasing various sorts of diseases associated with the air pollution. Besides this, obviously, when uh, there is a fire, uh, and especially if some hazardous material is involved in the factories, and uh, they they are going to cause a lot of damage in the urban areas because of the concentration of the people. Then emergency response, unlike other fires, obviously every incidence of fire uh, requires very prompt response. However, in case of urban, uh, urban areas because of the concentration of population, the high stake of the resources, the value of property. So, these things require very, very prompt response in case of urban fires in comparison to the other fires. Then what are the common causes of urban fires in India? First of all, we will see the general causes, then followed by it, we will see how the uh, urban fires in India are actually, you know, increasing because of the climate change related issues. So, common causes of urban fires in India are electrical short circuits, you know, uh, most of the uh, buildings in India are, uh, are very old, uh, the wires are exposed, uh, uh, the wires are exposed and because of such incidences, there are short circuits uh, which often leads to the fire incidents. In fact, short circuit is one of the most important causes of fires in urban areas. Then gas cylinder explosions because of the, you know, uh, not proper uh, improper handling of the uh, you know cooking gas cylinders which actually contains very um, explosive inflammable gas uh, this is one of the other causes of urban fires in indian households then human negligence you know um, uh, improper disposal of cigarette butts then uh, uh, you know uh, use of uh, improper use of candles and diyas. So, these are uh, the mishandling of such uh, uh, things in urban areas also leads to the incidences of fires in India. Then industrial accidents uh, is other uh, major reason of causes of urban fires in India because the labor force is not that much skilled to handle uh, sometimes the equipments or other hazardous material in the industry. So, this also leads to the fire incidences. You might have read uh, in the newspapers a number of times that 
you know so much of laborers lost their lives because of the blast in the broiler so just the uh, because they were unhandling the pressure system in the boilers uh, it is leading to a lot of fire incidences and hence the associated deaths of the workers so this is because of the lack of skills among the labor labor force in india then uh, there are fireworks and festivities especially around festival seasons like diwali and other such uh, uh, festivals uh, of different communities they celebrate by uh, by using the fireworks and all which also leads to many incidences of fires in urban areas because the buildings and other things are very congested closely located then improper waste management many a times you might have seen that the landfill sites actually got uh, caught fire so this is also because of the un uh, improper handling of waste management systems in case of urban areas in india then faulty appliances and equipment sometimes also leads to the fire incidences in india then urban fires in india and climate change how climate change is actually influencing or it might influence in the coming days the issue of urban fires so first of all drying of vegetations because of increasing temperature the vegetation is getting more and more dry especially the municipal solid waste because uh, it contains a lot of dry biomass so it they it uh, this you know rising temperature makes the vegetation more prone to uh, catch fire and these fire inc incidences can spread to the neighboring buildings and other areas then heat waves again uh, because of increasing temperature the frequency and intensity of uh, heat waves in india is also increasing especially in case of urban areas they not only increase uh, you know decrease the humidity levels but they also um, uh, uh, actually increases the temperature of the buildings and other materials like uh, other materials which are used in the building so uh, in they, they they become more prone to catch fire because of their already higher temperature then urban heat islands again this is uh, a phenomena which we experience in the urban cities because uh, cities have very congested uh, buildings and they use and release more heat and they also trap whatever heat is coming from the sun rays in comparison to the open surrounding areas in the outskirts of the cities because of such uh, such factors the temperature in cities is generally 2 to 3 degrees more than the surrounding rural areas because of this and also because of the climate change the heat island the urban heat island effect is going to much worse and obviously it will help uh, the causes of urban fires in india then increased energy use and this is one of the major reason which is actually uh, coming into picture especially uh, in the last two or three weeks when there is so mu uh, so much of uh, uh, incidences of heat waves in india temperature in cities like delhi they have never experienced more than 50 degrees celsius in the recent past now they are experiencing such high temperature so what is happening because of increased uh, you know because of very high temperature people are consuming more and more energy especially the use of acs and uh, on the other hand because of higher temperature the compressors in the acs are becoming you know more and more prone to uh, uh, catch fire because they are not built to uh, withstand such a higher amount of power and such higher temperature outside in their surroundings so because of the blasts in ac many high rising buildings in india especially in the cities have uh, have caught fire in the recent days so this is very important factor and one of the most emerging factors because of the climate change then what are the provisions regulating urban fires in india first of all we have national building code of india which has comprehensive guidelines how uh, buildings should be constructed what type of safety measures should be there uh, what type of safety measures should be there in the residential buildings or in the commercial buildings how and how uh, frequently the inspection should be done so these are the provisions which uh, which is contained in the national building code of india then uh, at the state level we have many acts like fire services acts every state has their own uh, fire services acts then we have factories act to see uh, the factories properly handle their waste and other materials so that they don't 
catch fire then similarly we have petroleum act and gas cylinder rules to manage the incidences of fires in such industries similarly we have explosive acts the factories or the industries which are dealing with uh, explosive they have to take special care according to the guidelines given in such acts then we have model building bylaws which actually supplement the national building code then we have disaster management act under which uh, the national disaster management authority issues various guidance from time to time relating to the various types of disasters and fire incidences is one of such disaster contained in the disaster management act then we have municipal laws and bylaws and fire safety audits these are generally done at the municipal levels uh, in different cities so a very comprehensive set of rules and regulations we already have the problem is with uh, respect to the implementation then what are the challenges related to urban fire management in india first of all inadequate infrastructure the buildings are old um, fires are uh, the wires are exposed they are prone to short circuiting besides there are uh, there is insufficient fire stations in india and poor accessibility narrow lanes you know there are jogi jopdis there are buildings uh, where approach is so limited that uh, even the if the uh, fire fighting people come they can't approach those buildings so these are the uh, issues relating to inadequate infrastructure in india which makes those areas more prone to the urban fires then lack of compliance with wire fire safety norms non adherence to building codes usually it is because of the corruption then illegal constructions are there inadequate fire safety equipments are there so these are mainly because of the violations of the guidelines and the laws which are already there then resource constraint insufficient manpower which we have seen that there are insufficient fire stations then outdated equipment and the limited funding so these are the problems that uh, urban fires in india urban areas in india are dealing with respect to the fires then public awareness and preparedness lack of fire safety education people don't know you know what should be do's and don'ts in case of uh, if there is an incident or urban fires then insufficient drills and training you hardly come across such drills and training in case of uh, uh, in india especially if there are you know many high rising buildings in uh, uh, housing societies are coming up so nothing sort of this is happening in india there is uh, no awareness of the people and of the authorities regarding the importance of such things in india then regulatory and policy challenges under this we have seen that there are so many different acts uh, rules guidelines bylaws uh, from uh, national level to uh, up to the municipal level so there is a fragmentation of such regulations which is also not uh, uh, resulting in a proper policy response then lack of regular audits this is all, uh, again because of corruption and other issues then there are also technological limitations because we are not using the latest technologies because of the lack of resources and also because of the lack of political will, will and public awareness then how to improve the issue the management of urban fires in india because uh, with the changes in uh, climate with the increased temperature this particular problem is going to worse only so first of all modernization of the infrastructure is required the buildings which are not you know suitable to live the wires are exposed they should be either retrofitted or they should be you know demolished and uh, new buildings should come up with proper fire safety uh, measures including in them then uh, fire resistance material should be encouraged uh, by the builders and other municipal authorities for the construction of new buildings or retrofitting the old buildings then again restrict enforcement of regulations is required under this you can cite there should be regular inspections there should be transparent licensing so that the people who are uh, who have the license to build such buildings or factories they should not violate such acts and there should be proper accountability if there is any incidence of fire then uh, municipal authorities they they are lacking uh, many resources first of all state government and as well as the national government should do something to uh, provide them adequate resources even the finance commission can take the lead and provide uh, municipal authorities sufficient funds especially for uh, especially to deal with the issue of urban fires
then enhanced coordination and communication uh, different agencies are there at the municipal level so there should be proper coordination for example you know uh, what type of buildings or uh, or what type of materials some factories are uh, handling so this information should be communicated by the uh, municipal authorities to the fire safety authorities so that they prepare according to that for example such some uh, so sometimes of sub some types of fires they don't require water they might require you know use of carbon dioxide and other uh, such materials to uh, dispose of the fire for example the petroleum products or like uh, when there is a fire because of the uh, uh, LPG cylinder leakage so different types of uh, uh, fires require different types of equipments if the municipal authorities have proper coordination then they can prepare plan plans accordingly if some areas you know there are factories they are handling some type of hazardous material then accordingly the fire safety authorities in those areas they should uh, they, sh they might be able to equip themselves to deal with such types of fires so proper communication with different authorities is required then public awareness and preparedness should be there fire safety education should be involved at the school level and also uh, at the level of uh, you know uh, resident welfare association they can take the lead then there should be regular drills drills and uh, at the level of housing societies adoption of advanced technologies this can be done like smart detection systems are there usually commercial buildings uh, have such systems so these can be encouraged or uh, some incentives should be given so that they can be adopted right up to the housing levels then data analytics we can use uh, data analytic tools you know to examine the, what is the current temperature what are the different types of areas which are housing different types of material that might be prone because of the higher temperature so these things can be done with the help of latest technologies then drones and robotics not only uh, can be used to examine the uh, different structures different areas but also they can help in the management of fires in case they occur then policy and legislative reforms are there we have seen there is you know uh, so many laws and regulations are there they should be made uh, they should be combined to make a uniform legislation so that uh, the proper response or the model laws should be there for the municipal authorities to follow uh, at the municipal level then regular audits should be there not of the laws and regulations but other safety measures which might be suggested uh, at the urban areas so these are the things which we can suggest to deal with the issue of urban fires in india very important topic for the upcoming examinations it is quite easy but still you need writing practice because knowing one topic is other thing but writing a proper answer in proper time uh, frame in uh, in good legible um, handwriting is totally other thing so for you to do writing practice we have created a very important question on this particular question uh, on this particular topic the question is to what extent does climate change exacerbates the incidence and management challenges of urban fires in india and what policy measures are necessary to mitigate these impacts effectively very very important question because many fires recently in urban areas are happening because of increased temperature associated with the global warming so you should prepare yourself to write and uh, a good answer to this particular question i think we have given sufficient material on this particular topic to you still if you need model answer then you can Join Tarun IAS because all such resources are freely available to the students of Tarun IAS. You can join any course to become eligible to get access to such resources. Again, if you need uh, free mentorship guidance, then you can join Tarun IAS. It, it is totally free of cost. Then whatever we have discussed here, everything uh, in proper table of contents, in proper paragraphs sub paragraphs so very printer friendly uh, notes in very very simple english this is being created at tarun is its content team is very very you know uh, so, uh, efficient and you know, uh, and have a lot of experience so if you want access to such material then you can join tarun is keep watching our videos if you like them please do share with fellow aspirants thank you